Exclusive, outrageous, good and fast, Leonardo de Hinchy, Ragged Rascal, Uhud and Sicaro is at the end, but Native Soldier is going to try and turn this into a test around the turn. At the 400 metres goes for home, but the Autumn Sun is right there. Then Vasilator, the August to the outside, good and fast, followed by Mr. Exclusive and Uhud, but the Autumn Sun goes to the lead at the 200 metres, puts up a length and a half, two legs, Vasilator and extends the Autumn Sun, three or four legs in front, a serious racehorse, the Autumn Sun blazes in spring, bolts in, six legs. Not many can do that, but he relaxes well, he's got all the right attributes to be one of the best horses coming to Australia. Into the straight now, Eshikan headed by Piero, and Piero dashed away now by two lengths. On running on all too hard down the outside and Epaulette boxing on. They're below the 200 and Piero. Ruwilla had to pull the whip. All too hard to length and a half away. Piero in front. All too hard's got his chance. He's coming with momentum. Piero has to fight. All too hard's grabbed him and all too hard has won it. All too Thursday morning you watched him work and you know, I just shaking my head. And then I wonder why I was shaking my head and I was thinking it was just too easy. And he just does it too easy. And he's got so much ability this horse. And well, it's the race that makes stallions, isn't it? Counts on the improve around him. Further back is Pure Theatre. And then Royal Coat, who's never been on the track. And Lonro's pulled to the outside as they corner in the guineas. Now Ebony Knight's hit the lead from Magic Hatter on the inside. Then Magic Albert. Here's Pure Theatre coming down the outside. Viscount can't go on. Lonro's coming with a big run down the outside. They're across the track. Pure Theatre and Lonro. Ocky's little boy's taken the lead, Lonro, and pulls away to win the guineas. Everything was going against. Him. He had to cover more ground than any other horse, and he picked him up within two or three bounds. And I, I was astounded how quick, and I only gave him one crack of the whip, really. And he done a marvellous job, the horse. Set up in the air a little, followed further back in the field by Primus. Well, we got knocked down. Primus, so did God's own. Paternity came back into their lap. Plenty of trouble in the early point, and God's own went back to last. He was knocked out of the race. On the outside, Paratroopers, Red Dazzler went up third. Stratum behind those. Apache kept the widest runner around, perfectly ready. When they turn for home, it's been nice and rough. When they turn, God's own got flattened again. Into the straight, Godski in front. Paratroopers coming at it quickly. Paratroopers has ranged up and hit the front now. Getting out of Stratum, battling on Gonski, then perfectly ready. Paratroopers going for home, and the Guineas draws a length in front, is holding Gonski. God's own getting out when it's all over, is flying. Paratroopers in front. God's own flying to it on the outside. He got up. What he done today was simply extraordinary, mate. The first turn, there was interference that got shoved off the track, and to his credit, he regained his composure. The speed was solid, so I just knew I was going to track up into the race. Coming to the turn, I was just getting the best run through, and Stratum come out and nearly, nearly put me on the ground. He just, oh, I don't know how this horse stayed up on his feet. Oh, he's a special race horse, mate. I'll give you a tip. I wasn't chasing any ordinary horse. I was chasing paratroopers, and he's... He's the best three-old in Australia. Right. So. Two lengths further back, Akabil, Kanaki, Walk and Diatribe. Then Prince Ben Barra as they neared the corner and Oval Office last of all. A line moved up to put some acid to the leader of Redoot's Choice, who still has a little bit left in the tank. Testa Rossa Oliver's just waiting and waiting. Redoot's Choice left the fence. There's the run for Testa Rossa if he's got enough. A line coming at them on the outside with pins. They reach the 200 and Testa Rossa sprinting very fast has moved up and has gone to the lead over Redoot's Choice. Cassidy had to pull the whip and then pins, it's Testa Rossa clear though, Redoot's choice is coming again Testa Rossa has to find Redoot's ditch, he lunges and wins, Redoot's choice beat Testa Rossa, a magnificent guineas. Just the enormous courage of Redoot's choice and a pumped Jim Cassidy He got on the wrong leg a bit and sort of got off the corner and I knew Testa Rossa would be right behind me and like he got a good break on me once he got to the furlong and oh look Class and, and will to win will win anywhere. And what a ride! Great ride, great horse, and of course, Testa Rossa. The same could be said. They have both given us a Caulfield Guineas to remember.